Today we're going to talk about a different type of benign brain tumor. Uh, similar to meningiomas in that it is located within the head, but it does not invade into the brain. So it's considered an extra axial tumor. And this is a tumor that grows from the covering of the nerve which supplies hearing and balance, which is called the acoustic or the vestibuloacoustic nerve. And the tumor is called an acoustic neuroma or a vestibular schwannoma. This is a, a benign tumor and therefore grows very slowly. Patients usually present with a loss of hearing in one ear. So that any person who presents with a unilateral, a one-sided loss of hearing, who doesn't have a good reason for that loss of hearing, like it doesn't have somebody poked his eardrum out or uh, there isn't an infection in the ear. Uh, in other words, anybody who presents with a, a one-sided loss of hearing without good reason or without reason is considered to have an acoustic nerve tumor until proven otherwise. Patients generally note their hearing loss talking on the telephone. So they'll discover that they can't hear on one ear, but when they switch the phone to the other, it wasn't the phone's fault. It was the ear's fault. And these people generally will see an ear, nose, and throat doctor. They'll get an audiogram, a hearing test. And if the audiogram shows that there is a one-sided high-frequency hearing loss, then they should get an MR scan of the brain. And the MR scan of the brain will show whether or not the tumor is there. Now the interesting thing is that the degree of hearing loss and the size of the tumor don't necessarily go together. So you can have a very tiny tumor with a big hearing loss, or you can have a relatively big tumor with a very tiny hearing loss. Other tumors that can grow in this area would be meningiomas mainly, or cysts so that there, are, there is a differential in the diagnosis. All hearing loss is not due to acoustic neuroma, but by far it's the most common. So once the tumor has been identified, then a treatment plan has to be formulated. And the treatment plan, as with most tumors, depends on the age of the patient, the wishes of the patient, the degree of neurological deficit, that is the degree of hearing loss, and um, the general health of the patient. So many times the best treatment is to do nothing, just watch it and see if it's going to grow. And the way we know that is to repeat the MR scan in six months or a year or in a reasonable period of time. If growth is identified though, then we pretty much are obligated to treat. And there are basically two types of treatment. One is surgery, and the second is stereotactic radiosurgery. We'll talk about those options later.